Want to take you live to breaking news. Mayor Wheeler is talking about a shooting in Portland today. Ish ago, and I felt given that we've seen such an increase in homicides, it was important that I be here today for the family and for the community and also for our police officers who are increasingly called to scenes like the one that you see behind me. So that is my reason for being here. I know that the community is deeply traumatized by these events. I want the public to know that they have my commitment, that we are increasing the resources available to both intervene and prevent this kind of violence, as well as on the backside, be able to investigate it and hold those who perpetrate this violence accountable. Thank you. Uh, what's it like for you to be on a scene like this? We're next to a church, we're near a hospital, it's a park, middle of the day, a beautiful day. What's it like for you to be out here? It, it's, it's heartbreaking to be here. There's, there's a playground behind me. This is a very, very popular community park, Dawson Park. There's a church right here on the corner. There's another one not far away. There's a corner grocery store right here. This is broad daylight. It's the middle of the afternoon. People are going about their daily business. And then this kind of horrific violence unfolds right in front of everybody. It's traumatizing. Do you think you'll be continuing to come to scenes like this if there is more violence? Well, I, I never commit to go to every scene. I, I obviously um, wanted to be here today. And what's on my mind right now is the family and the community. And in the back of my mind is the recognition that this could lead to further violence. And so, again, I, I want to reiterate what the police have told you, which is if anybody knows something or saw something, We'd, we'd like to know. There's an anonymous tip line, obviously. And there's so many good people in the community, not just in government, but people in the faith community, people in the neighborhood, uh, community leaders, uh, ordinary folks from the neighborhood who are working really, really hard to put a lid on the spread of this violence. It's very, very important that we all take stock of the fact that this happened close enough to a playground. There could have been you know, it, this is horrible for the victim and, and his family, but this even this could have been a broader community tragedy. And I think we all have a role to play. I do in my capacity as police commissioner, but, but we all have a role to play in helping to stop the violence and solve conflict through other means. Can you tell us about some of those resources you were talking about? In terms of, I'm sorry. You mentioned resources that you're going to put up for Oh, yeah, thank you. Um, so on the law enforcement front, the chief recently announced the community safety enhanced efforts. That is uh, increased police officers who are engaged directly in uh, the, the follow-up and the investigation of this kind of activity. Every shooting now gets the attention it deserves. We have 24-7 response teams. There's additional analytical support. That's all on the investigative side. And through our Office of Violence Prevention, which is completely separate, we're also increasing our efforts to both prevent and intervene to stop the spread of this kind of violence. Would you declare a state of emergency in the city? Well, I, I think as far as violence goes and homicides, we're already in a state of emergency. Uh, whether there's a formal declaration is really beside the point. We, we declare states of emergency when we have access to additional types of resources. This clearly is an emergency. When we have this many shootings, this many homicides, uh, it, we're seeing uh, record numbers of shooting incidents throughout the city of Portland. This is our top public safety concern. And that's why you're seeing so many people, not just the police bureau, but we're working with the county sheriff, the state police, our federal partners on the law enforcement side. But you're also seeing us work with the faith community, community groups, the Office of Violence Prevention, Multnomah County's programs around public health and intervention. We're all working together in ways we've never worked together before. What practical uh, work does the Office of Violence Prevention do? I saw Nike out there earlier. What does she do when she comes to me? So her job is to focus on the intervention and prevention side. So that's meeting directly with families who are impacted 
by gun violence. Um, I can't speak to why she was here today, but my guess would be she probably wanted to introduce herself to the family members. I know there are family, at least one family member uh, who is apparently here this afternoon. Uh, her team and their partners go out and meet people in the hospital if there are survivors. Uh, they also have what's called the Restoration Academy. So when people are coming out of the prison system, they have an opportunity to work with people who can give them support, access to employment opportunities, access to educational opportunities, and let them know that there are other better options than going back to perhaps a less than wholesome lifestyle that they left prior to going to prison. And so that's the work that she does. And I, I want to be clear, that's separate from what the police bureau does in terms of investigation and follow-up. It is very much community-based and working through our community partners to prevent this kind of activity from happening in the future. Do you ever talk to any victims' family members? I talk to victims' family members frequently, as recently as last week. I met with three uh, different families who've been impacted specifically by gun violence. Uh, but as both the mayor and the police commissioner, that uh, that is not a pleasant duty, but it's one that I feel is an important responsibility. And when the families want to meet with me, I absolutely want to sit down and meet with them. It's very important. What do they tell you? Mostly they share their grief, their sense of loss. They express anger and frustration. And... Um, their hope that they and others who are in their situation will feel that justice is served and most importantly that other families don't have to go through what they've gone through. Is there anything that you'd like to say to the uh, community members of Portland uh, considering, like, re regarding the uptick of violence in the city? That we... Uh, collectively see it by we, I mean the City Council, the Police Bureau, the Office of Violence Prevention, our partners at Multnomah County, our partners at the state and federal level who are working with us on this. We see it as reached, reached crisis proportions. We are collectively unified in our desire and our commitment to bring an end to it. And the public expects that. They should. And they will hold us accountable. Thank you. Thank you for your Thanks, time. Man. Appreciate it. Thank you. So you are watching live as Portland Mayor Ted Wheeler is on scene of a deadly shooting that took place just a couple of hours ago. He said he came to show support there for the victim's family. Again, this happened near a North Portland Park this afternoon. He says he wanted to support police as well because they've responded to many, many shootings so far this year. He calls the gun violence problem in Portland an emergency, a crisis. He called this crime traumatizing. He spoke about an increased police presence to investigate shootings like this and also some outreach programs that he's efforting, efforting to curb gun violence in Portland.